I got here a tamarind and I will be working on this by uh, I would like this root this coiling roots here of a young tamarind to be eliminated but to be able to do that I have to ground layer it here somewhere but as tamarinds are notorious for uh, reverse taper like this one now I would do a certain technique I learned from Nelly Stoyanova and that is to to slit slit the bark and bend it to prepare for a nebari that will be growing on the basically growing on the bark so this is a video I will be doing and also for her so that uh, we can follow this uh, in after a year's time probably okay so this is actually an experiment I haven't done this yet I have done ground layering just purely ground layering and dipping it in the or submerging the, the ground layer in soil and I had that success already but this one now is a new technique that is a new technique of uh, preparing a nibari so that's it I will uh, start my work okay I will be removing some branches because I will be to make the the work more visible okay, so this I will remove okay that's it I will ground layer from this portion then probably up to here so So I will ring back this uh, width. Okay, I will be doing that all around, and then I will show you later. So now I have ring back the the base. Okay, base of the trunk. Then I have also marked uh, by pen where I am going to slit. See, that's where I'm gonna slit. Okay, so I will have five slits in all, I guess. So I'll be doing the slitting, and I'll just uh, show you the preliminary. Okay, I help so mark here because that's where my slit ends. Okay. So we'll have to be careful to really fo follow the the pen marks. Okay. okay, so I have finished doing the slits. I have made about three, four, five slits. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'll give you a 360. So here. So they should have uh, the same portion where they are slitted so like that okay and there one so before before planting them to the ground at this level because roots are expected to grow here 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 so right right above so the soil will be deep as as uh, as high as here all over so from here to down so and maybe one technique to to pre uh, we, we need to prevent the bark going back to the wood so we need to put something under the bark like that okay so i i will put all around. okay now i'm i'm installing the sticks okay i had installed one two three four i need to put one here yet okay so I'll cut. Still need to cut. Okay, so right up to the. So I have completed 
the barriers. Okay, so that this doesn't uh, go back to to the wood. So okay, so I need to to stabilize the this woods by tying with wire. So, so this is the finished job. I have already secured the wood barriers and the bark is here. Okay. I have secured it with wire. And the bark is here and there. So the next thing to do now is to plant this in a bigger pot. This will not be removed. This will stay at this because these existing roots are the ones powering it. So this is expected that some roots will grow from the here above and also along the sides of this uh, this strip bark and supposedly or the anticipated benefit for this activity or experiment is that this will act as the nibari the the new nibari then okay and we eliminate this problem so by the time this will create so much roots then uh, we can cut off from here. Okay, so what's the theory regarding that? That's one question I, I didn't, I failed to ask Nelly, but my belief is that since you remove the cambium there, or part of the cambium, which is the vascular system, going down, so as, as energy is absorbed by the roots and being photosized, energy is produced then, as it goes down, it is cut here, so the phloem, I think it's the phloem, there is no more vascular system that transports the energy going down to the roots. So what happens is that the uh, energy is, is stuck here and it, if there is uh, some energy going down, it is uh, it's stopped from here. So then they will have to uh, grow roots. So the energy will be used to grow roots through this bark and here and here because it cannot grow roots directly from the wood so it will have through the bark so the this tamarind will uh, have to produce energy f up here and to this uh, uh, slitted uh, bark so let's uh, I haven't done any of it yet this is a, an experiment as requested by Nelly Stoneyaba and good luck to us so this is its new path here Okay, put uh, then we'll put so soil and then we will put an extension to really submerge this. And I don't have a powder form hormone, but I now will just use this liquid form hormone. Rooting hormone. This is a rooting hormone. Okay, so anyway this is this liquid form is okay because we can we can spray this from time to time. So that's what I forgot. I said goodbye already in the glass slide. So that's that's it. We're going to put soil and put an extension so that this will be covered.